Hi, I'm Teacher Im, and I prepare videos to help my students score better in their STPM Maths D paper. And I hope my videos can be helpful for you too. Well, today we are going to talk about one of the, the types of questions that they will ask when they test you on graph of piecewise defined function. Okay, so one of the type of question that they ask will be question as so. They will ask you, they will give you an equation in the modulus form and they will ask you to transform it into non-modulus form. Okay, and then they will ask you to sketch the piecewise defined function graph. Later in the question, they might ask you for the range of the graph. So today, my video is all about this. If you are interested, stay on. And if this video is good, please give me a like and do subscribe to my channel. Videos coming up soon. Let's get to it. So let's get to the question. Now in this question, they ask you to express the function gx modulus x minus 3 plus x plus 1 in the form that does not involve modulus sign. Okay, when they mention does not involve modulus sign, which means it is equivalent when they say that this equation, okay, when they mention does not involve modular sign, it is actually equivalent when they mention uh, in the question, they ask you to do like non modulus form. Okay, sometimes you will see in the question, they mention non modulus form. So, if it is uh if they mention uh write the equation in non-modulus form or does not involve modular sign means they ask you to transform this into equation that does not have modulus basically that's the question right so let's check out how do we deal with question like this of course other than mentioning the non-modulus form they ask you to sketch the graph and state the range so we will start the question by uh, preparing the non-modulus form by arranging the equation in this format okay this is the modulus rule okay the rule that we use to break our modulus so what actually do we do so firstly is we follow the formula we start to build out each and every one for, of them so we have two equation two modulus equation here i will start with the x minus 3 okay so we have the x minus 3 put into the modulus and it is meant to be uh one will be bigger then and the other one will be less than so i just copy the full equation x minus 3 into the position okay that i have there so x minus 3 and x minus 3 i just put it into the formula and then over this side i still prepare the same thing so that i still put in the x minus 3 and x minus 3 so for less than zero i have a negative for it very easy to remember right anything less than zero we have a negative for it and anything which is bigger than zero i put an equals two to it okay follow the formula in the modulus rule and then that will be the positive value then i try to set in the equation so for i will simplify it and set in so for this part over here the minus 3 will move over to the right hand side and we will become 3 okay so i will set in the equation properly and of course here i will multiply it in and i will set the equation okay once i'm done with the first part of the equation x minus 3 i will do for the second part of the equation which is x plus 3 so I will prepare the same thing, okay? But this time with x plus 3, I will copy x plus 3 
inside the formula into the formula and then i will also bring the x plus 3 over to this side okay which is one is negative like just now and one is positive the one with positive with the equals to involved and with the one with negative i don't use the the equals to symbol okay once that is done Okay, I will simplify this and multiply the negative into the equation. And for the right hand side over here, for the inequality, I will move this uh, plus 3 into to the right hand side of the where the place the 0 is. Okay, so it will end up something like this. Okay, remember if I just move the number, it won't change the inequality. Alright, so it will stay x bigger than negative 3 and so on. Okay, so I'm ready with these two equations. Next thing is I'm going to put these two equations into the position. I need to prepare my inequality. So I will draw a line. Most of the time, I will just draw a line. Okay, and then I will decide what is the position that I need. So according to the lines, I have one position which is using this part over here. Okay. I just use the marker to put it in, right? So I have one part which is x less than negative 3. Okay, let's see the second part. I will have the second part which is from negative 3 until 3. And then I have the third part which is bigger than 3. Okay, I have three parts over there. So with these three parts, I can create three set of details so i let's create it first okay i will create three parts of my details which is x less than negative three and then x from three to uh, negative three to three and x bigger than three okay how to put the inequalities usually the small inequality i will put on top and then followed by the bigger than x and then followed by less than and followed by bigger and equals than. Okay, it is alternate. No equals to, equals to, no equals to, and equals to. Okay, some uh, teacher, they, they, they use it from the bottom. Means the small number is on the bottom and then the bigger number is on top. And sometimes the equation, uh, the question itself have already given you a set of uh, inequalities which you need to follow okay sometimes it's given inside the question sometimes if they put both of them in the center is equals to then the top one will be uh means here they put a like less and equals to and then here is less than equals to then we will follow the top one is not equals to and the bottom one is also not equals to if the question need that okay so that depends on how they want the question Okay, how they set the question, but normally we will set as less than followed by less than equals than followed by less uh, this one. Okay, the center part and then bigger and equals to. Usually we will set this way. Okay, so now we have already set what we want. Okay, I'll just get rid of that first. Okay, once we have already set what we want. The next things that I want to fill in is all these values over here. Okay, so let's see how I'm going to fill in that. Okay, let's see how I'm going to fill in that value. So if you notice, I already fill in this. Okay, let's say, okay, let's say over here, I want to show you how I fill that in. Okay, now I will go for the first e the equation over here. Okay, I will go for the equation over here, which is x less than negative 3. So x less than negative 3, it is actually over this side. Okay, so I will go from this equation. I have two sets of equation over there, two sets of modulus equation. So x less than negative 3, which also means when I say x less than 3, when I say x less than 3, that also means for the first equation, because I want to fill in the first equation over here. So x less than 3, which is also x less than negative 3. Okay, so I will take this x less than 3, 
which is also when I say x less than 3, it includes x less than negative 3. So the first thing that I'm going to put inside here, inside the first part over here, will be x min minus x plus 3. I just bring this equation into this part over here. Okay, let's check out the next part. Okay, let's check out the next one. So the next one over here is the one x plus 3. So I'm going to use the one on the, the green box here. Okay, in the green box here. So when I look at the equation x less than negative 3, so according to what I have here, in fact, it is already stated inside the equation, which is x less than 3, which means x less than 3 is already inside here, which means for the second part here, I will need the equation minus negative 3 and minus x, minus x minus negative 3. So that is basically the second equation that I'm going to put in. Okay, let's look at the second part. The second part here, the next part that I am going to need, okay, the next part that I'm going to need is this one. For x, uh, I will do the x bigger than 3 first because I want to settle with the first equation. First equation, I will look at the one behind, okay, because it belongs to 3 here. So I will need the equation for x less than 3. So x less than 3 belongs here. This, that is the equation that I'm going to write inside this place. So I will put in x negative x plus 3. Okay, once I settle with that, once I settle with that equation over there, I need to look for the next equation. Okay, I need to look for the next part, which is over here means according to this part over here, I have x bigger than negative 3. So I will go over to the top part in the green equation over here. I will need x bigger than negative 3, which is this part over here, all right, which is that part over there. And I will copy x plus 3 into the equation, okay? I will write x plus 3 into the equation and that sets for the second part okay let's go for the next one okay let's go for the next one and according to the this next equation i need x bigger than 3 okay so i will go back to the first box here and because i want to fill in the first placing here so i want something x bigger than 3. So x bigger than 3 is very obvious over here, x bigger than 3, which means we need this equation over here. So I'm going to copy that equation into this position. So I'm going to put it in like so, x minus 3 in this part. Okay, next one, there is one more to fill in before I can continue with my question. Okay, there's one more, which is this part over here which belongs to this equation what i need just now i need something x bigger than 3 so x bigger than 3 for this question over here which means i need to use x bigger than negative 3 so it means the same when i say x bigger than 3 means x bigger than negative 3 also included x bigger than 3 if you look at the line here so it actually included x when i say x bigger than negative 3 it also includes x bigger than 3 which means i'm going to need this equation and i'm going to write it in x plus 3 okay so that settle all our equation that we need okay so now i'm going to settle the calculation for this equation so i will have negative uh, 1 and I'm going to fill in so simple algebraic calculation so negative uh, x plus negative x I get negative 2x 3 minus 3 I get nothing okay it's gone so here is negative x plus x so x will be gone so 3 plus 3 I get 6 here is x plus x I will get 2x and then negative 3 plus 3 that is gone so I already prepared this uh, piecewise function all right so the inside the question they ask for the graph 
So basically, you will need to sketch this graph following the, the inequality that they set over here. So if you need a video for, of how to sketch a piecewise graph, please mention in the comment box because this video I'm more I will concentrate more on how to build this piecewise function from the modulus form. So if you need a video on how to sketch a piecewise graph like this, okay, please leave a comment inside the chat box for me. Then I will get it done for you. Right, so basically, this is the piecewise graph which is built from this piecewise equation over here. So we will go part by part. So, whatever which is less than negative 3, we will use this negative 2x. So, I will use the uh, this red line to represent the negative 2x. Then, from negative 3 to 3, it is just 6, so that will be y equals to 6. That's the straight purple line over here. That I get and finally when I want x bigger than 3 I get 2x over here okay 2x as the equation so I will build an equation from 3 to the right hand side using the function 2x okay so we will build three different uh, graph okay three different color in exam the time you just use one color okay so this is just for showing purpose okay so i will build three straight line to confirm with this three graph okay once i build the graph the next part of the question actually asks for the range so range means it is all the part over here so where does the range start okay let me uh, mark the range for you so the graph will actually start from here and all above so which means all this on above there all right so all this part over here is where the graph is okay so if they ask for the domain of the graph if they ask for the domain of the graph the domain of the graph is actually on the x-axis over here all this right all included means if they ask for the domain that will give you that domain from negative uh, from negative infinity to positive infinity then they only ask for the range so we are going to concentrate to that right so the range is from this value over here okay six until positive infinity so we will write the answer as range of gx is from six included that's why i have the square bracket until positive infinity now please please remember that in stpm when you write your answer for example you write range is equals to let's say if you write six and then x and then just positive infinity like that you won't get your full marks please remember that you actually need to write a full answer either in set notation form or in this type of notation form okay from six until positive infinity or you write it in set form okay so don't ever ever leave your answer hanging like this this is not accepted in the stpm marking right so please uh, you might lose one mark it is um it is uh, in the marking itself. They prefer it in the notation or the set form. Okay, so that's the end of my video. I hope you like it and you learn something from it. And if it is good, please give me a like. And if this video is helpful, and please share it with your friends so that everybody can good, get good values from it. Okay, and I'll see you in my next video hit the subscribe button if you have not bye and see you in my next video bye bye